हे गाइस व्हाट्स अप वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस एंड हैव अ प्लेजेंट मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू नाउ आई अजय कुमार योर इंग्लिश टीचर इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर द लेक ऑफ आइल्स ऑफ एनंस फ्री इट्स अ पोएम रिटन बाय विलियम बटलर इट्स इन शॉर्ट हिज कॉल्ड विलियम इट्स now you can see here in this chapter you know uh, it's a lake isle of eden's free uh, and uh, we are going to uh, read many more things in this uh, poem like uh, the first contents i'm going to share you uh, in this poem uh, the contents you can see there will be three slides the whole poem has been you know like written three slides about the author uh, fourth slide you will see in fourth slide uh, it is about author in fifth slide you'll see analyze the title of the poem we'll analyze the title of the poem as well in uh, sixth slide we will uh, go through the characters of the poem in seventh slide we'll go through the setting of the poem uh, in eighth slide we'll go through the parts of the poem and in 9 to 13th slide uh, stanza was explanation we'll uh, go through and 14 uh, number slide we'll go through themes 15 number slide symbols and 16 and 17 uh, will be a slide of poetic devices and in last slide 18 uh, some more details will be added so you can see uh, here the poem i will arise and go now and go to the enns tree and a small cabin built there of clay hold on of clay and wattles made nine bean rows will i have there a hive of the honey bee and live alone in the bee loud glad i and i shall have some a uh, piece there for peace uh, comes dropping slow dropping from the well wells of the morning to where the cricket sings their midnights all a glimmer and noon a purple glow and evening full of the linen swing i will arise and go now for always night and day i hear lake water lapping with low sounds by the shore while i stand on the roadway or on the pavement gray i hear it in the deep heart's core now uh, we we'll, are going to uh, see about the author you no know, the author william whatler it's you can see here in the slide the poet is a speaker who was uh, residing in london at the time he wrote this poem he yearns to return to the peace and serenity of the rural life like he experienced in his childhood in the loch kill near enensfree he was reading henry david thoreau's book walden or life in the woods 1888 those days while he was walking through the busy street in the london he felt that he felt the suffocation of the crowd in the busy in the city in busy the city he was suddenly transported back to uh, his memories of childhood when he used to spend summer time near this un uninhabited island near enensfree with a sudden flash of memory he felt homesick walking on the street he heard a little tinkle of water and saw a fountain in a shop window which balanced a little ball upon its jet and recalled the lake water amused by himself he composed this lyrical poem now a bit about mr uh, william eats he was an irish poet uh, his he was born in 1923 and uh, was awarded with the nobel prize in literature he was the first irish nobel laureate now let us analyze first the top 
title of the poem and this uh, the title is you know the lake isle of enensfri so here the is the definite article uh, referring to some uh, thing particular or specific you know what is the lake isle it's a place it's an island or isle of any piece of land that is surrounded by water you can see here in the picture as well a small island in a river or a lake may be called an isel of of here is a preposition that expresses possession of an or connection enensfri the isles of enensfri is an uninhabited island within lohgil in sligo island it's a place and basically it's a place and uh, each spent his uh, summers as a child in lohgil whenever he gets time in summer vacation he spent his uh, time there it's never actually lived uh, on enensfri and uh, enensfri is an uninhabited island nobody lives there but it does sit as a landmark of 20th century poetry nevertheless so you can see here uh, we have analyzed the topic the title refers to a particular island of enensfri the particular geographical location in ireland now the character uh, we will go through in this characters are uh, w v eats himself the poet has written the poem in first person and he is the narrator now you can see here it said uh, it said fond and peaceful uh, memories of his childhood uh, childhood days which he spent in the serain law guild and uh, he was inspired by henry uh, david thoreau's book walden or life in the woods uh, written in 1888 we have discussed uh, uh, above in our slide and actually he imagined building a cabin to live in the peaceful lake and enjoy the authentic city of rural is ireland so he was actually uh, trying to make a cabin then peaceful lake he had written this poem with the idea of returning to peaceful life in natural surroundings of enensfri he just want to leave the crowded city now you can see here the setting setting is in ireland logil is the place logil irish uh, logil uh, meaning a bright or white lake is a fresh water loch or lake loch or lake is similar at the a uh, border uh, between two countries in ireland or territorial division you can say you can see here the map it provides the setting uh, for this poem the lake contains about 20 small islands including the isles of enensfri mentioned in this poem and this has been taken from uh, the sources of wikipedia you all know uh, you are all familiar with wikipedia now uh, we'll go through the parts of poem the poem uh, has three uh, stanzas stanza 1 2 and 3 and this is a, a short pastoral poem pastoral means a uh, pastoral poem means a poem that explores the fantasy of a uh, bit drawing a bit drawing from modern life to uh, live in a idyllic rural setting it is free from corruption and complexities of urban life now uh, i'll just go through stanza 1 and uh, remaining part will complete in second part of the video so let me go through the stanza 1 first i will arise and go now and go to enensfri and a small cabin build there of clay and battle smith nine bean rows will i have there a hive for the honey bee and live alone in the be loud glade well uh, dear student now let me explain to you uh, stanza 1 poem uh, poem first line has a lyrical or you can say song like quality with a rhythmic and music of its own and uh, here a poet uh, is uh, you know very happy with the happy memory of childhood the poet uh, sets the mood of the reader right from the beginning you can see 
is setting the mood of the readers right from the beginning i will arise and go now and go to enansfri now the narrator decides to go to enansfri the quiet and uh, tran tranquil uh, free from disturbance the qu uh, quiet and tranquil means free from disturbance lake island he has a calming uh, memories of uh, this place he wants to break uh, free uh, from the hectic like life of city as we are all having how much hectic uh, our life is we all know that now he wishes to make a small uh, cabin there a uh, bit of uh, clay and wattles wattles are you can say uh, you know like uh, uh, those are called uh, small you know wooden uh, thing and nine bean rows and a hive for the honey bees provides a kind of universality to the poem as they are uh, have minimum and uh, common uh, realistic elements in the rural life he wishes to stay alone in the buzzing sounds of the bees and you can see here you know like uh, a cabin uh, he is going to make what is called cabin a small house built of wood usually in wooden area a wooded area wattles a strong uh, interwoven sticks used for making fences and walls and glade a clearing and open area so uh, dear students now you can see uh, we have uh, read the first part we have explained and uh, explored uh, all the you know re related parts of this poem in first video and uh, your own recollections of uh, childhood might include uh, jumping in rain water puddles stretching your hand out in the rain to feel cold water drops etc these are the things these are the you know like um, uh, i mean you can say uh, memories you can recollect you can also write uh, a poem uh, of your own uh, you know memories of childhood now dear student we will read the next uh, part uh, i mean uh, remain two stanza and the poetic devices and all the slides which uh, we have i have uh, mentioned above in next part of the video till then bye take care and have a nice day thank you everyone